Hi, friends. Let's talk about GERD and gastritis due to non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs. So many people take those for pain control, such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, headache, low back pain, very widely used. At the end, I will say a few words about aspirin for cardiovascular accident prevention. So what you can do to to deal with the side effect of those medications. So step number one should be discontinue the medication. I know it is hard, but there are alternatives and we are going to talk about them right now. So substitute non-steroid anti-inflammatory with acetaminophen or paracetamol. The next is use topical treatment. You have wide varieties from very strong Valtaren to biofreeze to natural capsaicin and CBD cream. What I experienced is that many people don't do enough of the topical treatment. They apply it once or twice per day and very thin layer. In order to have better effect, you have to do it at least three times per day or better even four. Here are some examples how to deal with the pain uh, by oral natural remedies such as Arnica or Zyflamand. I have many more ideas what to do and how to do to control the pain and actually address underlying problem. Please feel free to contact me. I'm available as a health coach. The next step is protect the mucosal layer or create the mucosal layer. I will say that in, in a few minutes why you should do that. But to do so, you take a slippery empty and marshmallow tea make sure that they are not just like a plain water. They have to be a little bit slimy. Actually, when you drink it small sips, you will uh, protect the lining of esophagus and um, stomach. Aloe vera, usually sold in a big jars for internal consumption. All vegetables better be cooked. Uh, I love okra in soups and stews. It also has a, that slimy component meats have to be cooked in form of stews and soups. In one of my previous lectures, I talked about fried meats and uh, crunchy substances, like substance like here, bread, that has uh, actually sharp edges and it's, it's very hard, like fried meat and bread, feel how hard they are, like, right? When you don't chew well enough or don't cook those meats, they get broken in small particles and they are sharp actually. When you swallow them, they go and they scratch the digestive tract and you already don't have a protective layer there. So it just creates more pain and more irritation. Then deal with the inflammation because GERD and gastritis, it's inflammation. Again, aloe vera comes here, L-glutamine and alpha-butyric acid. Now we are going to talk um, about if, uh, how they actually create the damage. Here is the article that they, a non-steroid anti-inflammatory indeed create acid and GERD. Here is the article, how they create. And the article, go ahead and read the full article. It tells that um, they inducing mucosal injury primary by impairing prostaglandin dependent mucosal protective mechanism. So the mucosal la layer that lies the digestive tract is uh, disappearing. So as a result, cold food, hot food, spicy food, sharp food, everything will go and it will irritate and scratch and create more inflammation. Now we are going to talk, uh, we are, I'm going to say a few words about aspirin. Aspirin is out of favor. As a non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug was used for many, 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 many years to prevent cardiovascular accidents. American Cardiovascular Association said, that's it, that's the end of aspirin. They said it five years ago. Read the full article and understand who can actually take. But the, to my great surprise, they are talking here about changing your diet, nutrition, uh, deal with obesity, about physical activities, uh, diabetes type two, controlling diabetes, lipid control, hypertension, make sure that your blood pressure is under control, stop smoking. And here is at the end comes aspirin. But what is important is the sentence, 
recent studies have shown that in the modern air, air aspirin should not be used in the routine primary prevention of cardiovascular disease due to lack of net benefit. What the word lack of net benefit means that indeed the drug has some beneficial effect for preventing cardiovascular disease, such as heart attack, stroke, and transit ischemic attack. But because it has many side effects, such as GERD, gastritis, uh, bleeding, uh, result, they, uh, when you put all, everything on the scale, the net effect is zero, if not negative. So aspirin is gone. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe, ask me questions right here. I am available. Bye-bye, guys.